Previously on Two Up and Overloaded. We delved deep within the depths of the Sulu Sea to discover another magical side of East Malaysia. But now we're getting back on our KTM 250 adventure motorcycle and heading to an area of the coast that has something truly special. A place where we get to do something that we had always dreamed about. Ride a motorcycle on a tropical beach through the sand. It seems awesome in theory, but there's a catch. Actually, two consequences of doing this. Sand and salt. But today we're putting our trepidations aside and going for it. This is the story of how it all went. Hey everyone, nice to have you here. We are Tim and Marissa No Tear. I ride in the front and I'm in the rear. We travel the world and we pack too much gear. Oh, all the places, places we'll go. go through rain and through sleet and through mud and through snow. Oh, all the, the things, things we'll see. see. We've been to a country or two or three. Oh, all the, the fun, fun we've had. had. You have you along would make us real glad. So give us a like and, and hit subscribe to join us along our epic ride. So we had a lunch of more seafood, which was okay. <laughs> we being I did, yes, since yes, Tim yeah. does not like uh, seafood or fish. Yeah, but I had teriyaki and some sort of vegetable. It looked meaty and I'm glad that it was delicious. Teriyaki vegetable? Yeah. <coughs> Uh-oh. What happened? It's fire. Oh. <coughs> and our host, uh, Uday? Yes. Was very kind and uh, can't thank him enough. And Amazing. Made our stay absolutely magical. And just because I don't eat fish, it's not a knock on all of his delicious food that Marissa was scrumbling up. Scrumbling? Scrumbling. <laughs> out of tea, out of tea. Scrumbling. Yes, my lunch at this gorgeous little beachside resort cabin that we were at was fantastic. Just like all the other seafood I had eaten there. This was fish today. It's really just whatever they catch of the day and then that's what they're gonna be cooking up for you. There's no set menu. They just give you what they found in the ocean. Oh, and they also had rambutan. Oh, yeah. yeah. Best you fruit can, ever. That's, yeah. That is the king of the fruits in Malaysia. They, a lot of people say it's durian. And it's like, <laughs> you are wrong, my friend. That is not correct. But rambutan, mm. delicious. So we were about to head off on the motorcycle and go to the tip of Borneo. And on the way, stop at a couple places oh. that our host there had recommended for us. Hey everyone, so we are about to go to the very tip of the most northern point in Sabah. Yeah. So we started in the tip of Sarawak which was mile zero, as you know. Priceless. Ah, there we go. Thank you. <laughs> and now we're going to make it to the other tip of Borneo. This is called the tip to tip route. And it is the most northern point here in the state of Sabah. It is called Kudat. Well, actually we're near Kudat right now. The tip itself, though, has a monument to the separation of the two different seas that they have here. There is the South China Sea, which is all along that northern part of Borneo. And then here, we are overlooking the Sulu Sea, which kind of wraps itself around the eastern side of Borneo, along with the Philippines. So, we are really excited to get out there. It looks to be absolutely beautiful out. 
and it shouldn't be too far away. So we're packing up right now, not everything. We're coming right back here tonight, but we're just gonna take a little brief trip to get to that most northern point, tip to tip. Let's go. You plugged in a couple of destinations on yeah. the map. Ooh. Something secret. headed off and we kind of followed the coast. coming between all the trees. Yes, we love, uh, Borneo's been really nice, really beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. Press skip. All the way to the left. All the way to, the, no, yes. Right. Thank you, lady. And then we finally got to a point where I felt the urge to abandon the nicely paved road and yes. to head on to the beach itself. Because it was just too, too stunning and it was calling our name. Kelambu Beach and it was recommended to us but getting there on the motorcycle itself that was all your idea and I'm so glad you did that because it was amazing riding a motorcycle on that pristine white sand bar yeah. to an island heavenly it was really really cool And like it wasn't populated with a bunch of people or else I wouldn't have been riding my, my motorcycle around it. But like depending on the tide, I think like, you know, there's this big bar that goes out and then branches off to an island and like the view from above, it looks like, you know, a big like broccoli head or a big yeah. you know, tree, you know, the tree of life coming out from the mainland. And yeah, we got to ride our motor scooter up and down and it was just, we we're in a stunning location. <laughs> remember. Yeah. Marissa got so excited that she did a cartwheel. <laughs> and if you remember, her hand has been like, got this micro possible fracture thing yeah. that she's trying to heal. Oh, my wrist. I shouldn't have done that. Oh. Get out of my wrist. But she, you know, it's much, much better now. So I forgot nothing, all about it. But at she that forgot moment. about it. And she said, film me doing a cartwheel. And I said, all right. And then she did it. And it was immediately she was like, ah, my wrist. I totally I forgot. 
Oops. But, <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Everything is cool. <laughs> Watch high five in action. Yes. <laughs> of all of Malaysia's gorgeous beaches, Kalambu Beach is often rated as one of its finest. And yet, very few people ever make it to this corner of Borneo. But once you do, you are rewarded with some of the most pristine beach views that we have ever seen. I mean, this is what you think of when you think of paradise, right? And for a motorcycle rider, you combine these two things, the heavenly beach and the motorcycle riding, and it is just a magical experience. And because this beach was so wide, kind of this peninsula sticking out into the ocean at low tide, um, we didn't touch the water at all. And so the bike yeah. touching salt was not an issue. <laughs> and it was also not like really deep sand because that's my nightmare. So the- Correct. The sand was perfect to ride on. It was. And the 250 is very agile and you know maneuverable. So just everything was was really, really nice. So after a little ride around the beach, we decided to head on to the next point that had been recommended to us, and that was a place called Secret Place and Cafe, which I think is a great name. It smells like secrets. Oh, here's a vine. Watch out! You know, we're telling you about the Secret Place. Someone told us about the Secret Place. <laughs> How, how deep they want this little secret to be hidden, but it's out there now. And there was a little jungle road that led to it. Yeah. So it did feel like, wow, we are stumbling upon this secret possibly. And there was also a bamboo gate yeah. to cross to get there. Marissa had to open it up, which is always awesome. And then when she shuts it, she's got to crawl underneath in like her spacesuit with her backpack on. Well, I could have shut it by I didn't going want to say through anything. it. I, did, I was just on my motorcycle like, this is cute. You know, like you could go to the other side, then shut it, but no. But I didn't, I didn't, okay. <laughs> but it was awesome. This is Marissa doing a little army crawl underneath it. <laughs> Are you open? Okay. Oh, but we get here and there's a bazillion, bazillion cats. Yes! And that's how I knew I was going to be right at home. What's going on, everybody? What's going on? Almost died on that little... What? Almost died on that little track journey because... <laughs> I am in heaven. Oh, you are. Look at the blue eyes. Wow, you're so Siamese. It's so mm, you please. Can we take this one? Look at this. This one handed. Look. Just one handed. So many cats. It's too many cats. No, uh, maybe. I don't, even, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think I've ever said that. And I take it back. I immediately take it back. They were all Just the right amount cats. of cats. Yeah, there was cats in dustpans, cats in garbage lids, cats in corners. <laughs> like, you know, and you walk in and you're the kitten king and they're all <laughs> And they had musical instruments that we were able to play. Yes, and you played the uke for a cat. An audience one, it was my favorite, favorite performance ever. <laughs> that cat was loving it. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> and we had a little jam session there. Today's gonna be the Hi. day. And the coconut was great. We had these refreshing drinks and that was a perfect little rest stop. Yeah, the secret was exposed. It's on Google Maps. <laughs> it is. I knew we were leaving soon, so I started saying bye to all the cats because it was like a <laughs> 10 to 15 minute. It was. Thank you, brother. Oh, look at the rubbish kitties. Don't throw the kittens away. Don't put them in the trash. Yeah, it was really, 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 really nice. Next time on Two Up and Overloaded, we finally make it to the end of the tip-to-tip -tip route and find ourselves at the crossroads of two very impressive seas, the South China Sea and the Sulu Sea. Plus, we take a road that everyone warned us not to go on. That will all be in our next episode. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give us a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below. Ding, ding. And we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. And if Patreon is your thing, we would love to have you along the journey with us. For as little as a dollar a month, you can sign up using the link in the description below and you get all our videos a little bit early, ad free, a couple of exclusive clips every once in a while, and a postcard this sent to you true. from wherever we are in the world. You get a postcard with a big nose monkey on it. You get a postcard <laughs> with some, some coconut trees. Yeah, they're all different. They're you know? all different. <laughs> a huge shout out and a thank you to all of our current patrons and everybody that's climbed aboard with us. We're, we're glad to have you along for the ride. So a million thank yous. We couldn't do this without you. Thank you so much and we'll be seeing you next time. Stay safe, everybody. Bye. Peace. That was a high-pitched piece. <laughs> we just discovered that rambutan actually means the hairy fruit in Malayu, which makes sense. It's hairy. It's I hairy. think it should translate to space monkey testicles. <laughs> 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 Equally good name, but uh, this is prior to the knowledge of space monkeys, so I understand. <laughs> Third translation. <laughs>